Uh, we have already started the operation, but the general aim is to avoid casualties and bloodshed. That's why I do understand that our special forces doing everything possible to avoid such kind of uh, development. Uh, they have all necessary instruments and uh, operation skills to do it in a way which may not lead to any victims. That's why I do hope that they know what I, they are doing right now, and I support that. But doesn't it look like you've made a threat and haven't carried it out? The major threat is Russia. And the major threat is Russian special agents that are working on the Ukraine's territory. Uh, just a minute ago, I have received a report on uh, um, interception of, on, of radio traffic among Russian military units or part of them on the Ukraine's territory. And I will, I will tell you frankly, this is the most cynical thing that I've ever had. They were reporting about killing martyrs. And then, after that, they greeted each other with the Christian holiday of Palm, which is, you know, this is something unbelievable. The point is that Russia inspired so-called pro-Russian protests. And uh, if, uh, Russian militants, Russian special agents are behind all these developments. There are dozens of people who are in the buildings uh, and uh, uh, demanding uh, so-called Russian slogan. But millions in the East and the South are for united Ukraine. Uh, Russia is not interested in that. Russia uh, saying that they are concerned uh, for simply lies. And that's an unfortunate thing that I have to say. We are witnessing lies, blackmail, and unprecedentedly uh, absurd politics that are not acceptable, acceptable for any free person, for any civilized nation. And that's, that's a great tragic mistake that, I, that they are doing. What can you do about it? We can fight. And that fight may be of different venues, in different venues and on different levels. Uh, first of all, Definitely. If Russia crosses the red line and, invade our, and invades our territory, we will fight and we will defend our land. This is our land and this is our independence and this is our country and people. And we will protect them. The, thing, the second thing is that we have to ensure the international solidarity because this is the instrument. We live in the 21st century and we have to teach all those who want to live in the 19th century of aggression and invasion how to live in, the, in this current world. And we can do it by all possible means, including economic pressure and so forth. And the third thing is that we have to speak with Russian people. Do they want to live in the uh, system of anti-democratic, uh, unbelievable, uh, chauvinistic and imperialistic way of thinking? I'm not sure they want, but that's the issue to, to, for them to solve.